It is the start of the day so bright As the morning takes Ready. over night The dawn is so bright Wishing you a very bright good morning everyone Good morning children, good morning one and all present over here. I Miss Mukta Kadmawala and I Miss Rinki Singh are the host of the day. A very warm welcome to this prestigious poetry and storytelling competition where words come alive and emotions are beautifully woven into the verses. Today we gather here in the spirit of creativity to celebrate the power and the beauty of the day. It is a pleasure to be your host for this remarkable event. For any good start, one must always seek God's blessings. So here we have a small prayer by children of grade 3 from Integrity House followed by lamp lighting ceremony. I request section in charge, assistant coordinator, and the judges to come forward for lamp lighting. Everyone, rise up on your place, join your hands, close your eyes for the prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes, and get ready for the prayer. Hello, sir.
Thank you, kids. You may now all take your seats. Children, would you all like to would you all like to know who all are the judges for today's program? Yes. So here I would like to introduce our first judge, Miss Tripti Tulsiyan, parent of Ashi Tulsiyan. I would like to call our assistant coordinator, ma'am, Miss Sakshi Chuk, Chuk, to please felicitate her. Ma'am, please come up on the stage. Can we hear it for her, everyone? Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for your presence. Now we have second judge for the day, Manisha Prahladika, parent of Mihika Prahladika. I would request again Sakshi ma'am to please felicitate her. Children, keep clapping! Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you so much for your precious time. Now, next judge in a row, I would like to call Miss Anaita Dhareva ma'am, parent of Sanvi Dhareva. Again, I would like Sakshi ma'am to felicitate her. Everyone, please have a big round of applause for her. Good morning ma'am. Thank you so much ma'am. Next, we have Apurva Mahida ma'am, parent of Vedika Mahida. I would like again Sakshi ma'am to please felicitate her. Everyone, please keep clapping. Thank you so much, ma'am. Poetry and stories have the incredible ability to transport us to different worlds. Isn't this, isn't it, children? Yes? Yes? So it's all about emotions and creativity. Evoke deep emotions and provide solace to our souls. It is an art form that allows us to express our innermost thoughts and connect with others on a profound level. Today, we have gathered a talented group of students who have embraced this skill and poured their hearts to present poems and stories in front of us. Throughout the event, our esteemed judges panel of, uh, will be assessing each performance based on the creativity, emotions, and delivery of the content. As we embark on this journey, we encourage our audience to actively listen, engage with performers, and appreciate the beauty of their words. Your support and applause will undoubtedly uplift their spirits and inspire them to shine even brighter. To the participants, we encourage you to let your passion flow. Embrace the stage as your canvas and 
share your unique voice with the world remember today is not only about winning but also about celebrating the magic of the joy of self expression now before we begin i would request i would uh, like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the teachers who have nurtured these beautiful talented people over here guiding them on this amazing journey now without further delay let us immerse ourselves in the enchanting world of poetry and stories may the words we hear today ignite our imagination touch our hearts and remind us of the incredible power of language let the poetry competition begin are you all ready kids yeah! are you all excited yeah! so here i would like to call our first participant vibrant vihan vedya from grade 1b can we hear for him everyone he was this confidence you can see how tiny he is but his talent is not please keep clapping Yes, kids. Back side. Waterfall, waterfall. Waterfall, waterfall. And we start. So you all have to pay attention to him. Okay? Good morning, everyone. My name is Vihan Vadya from Force B. I am going to recite a poem on What Does Little Body Say, written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. What does little body say? In a harness, cat peep of day. Let me fly, says little body. Mother, let me fly away. Body rest a little longer. Wings are stronger, so she rests a little longer. Then she flies away. What does a little baby say? In her nest, at, in her bed, at peep of day, baby says like little body, let me rise and fly away. Baby sleep a little longer till thy little till thy little wings are stronger. So she sleep a little longer, then she flies away. The poet was trying to say, in the morning all the little birds wanted to fly away. Mother was trying to explain that you should not fly away. The lovings are stronger. In the same manner, mother was saying to baby, "You should not run away and walk from your bed till your limbs and hands are stronger. After you rest a little longer, then you can run and walk from your bed." Thank you. Wow! What a super marvelous performance! Good job. Very nice. Now I would like to call thoughtful Tanush. Ta 
Anush Chalan from class 1A. Everyone clap for him. Good morning everyone. My name is Anush Chalan. Today I will recite the poem Five Little Blue Birds. Five Little Blue Birds. Five little blue birds hopping by my door. One flew away to build a nest. Then there were four, four little blue birds singing for, singing lustily. One got out of tune. Then there were three, three little blue birds thinking what should one do. One to church for dinner. Then there were two, two little blue birds. Hmm? Singing for fun, one flew away and then there was one. One little blue bird sitting in the sun. He took the little up and then there was none. Thank you. Well done, Tanush. It was indeed a great performance. Everyone, please clap for him. Our next contestant is Rudra Chaudhary. Vadian Rudra. We like to see you on stage, dear. Yes, at the back, please. Hello everyone, a very good morning to you all. My name is Rudra Chaudhary from 1D. Today I am going to recite a poem. So the name of the poem is Private Song. It is written by Alfred Tennyson. In this poem, a poet talks about a little bird and a baby. Just like the little girl. Children will leave their home to explore the world. So now spend most time with your children. So let's begin with the poem. What does the little body say in a nest at peep of day? Let me fly, says little body. Mother, let me fly away. Body. Rest a little longer till thy little wings are stronger. So she rests a little longer and then she flies away. What does little baby say in her bed at peep of day? Baby says, like little body, let me rise and fly away. <laughs> Baby, sleep a little longer till thy little limbs are stronger. If she sleeps a little longer, Baby too shall fly away. Thank you. Come on, louder children, come on. Show that energy to them. Wow, superb Rudra. Now, Next contestant is Aryan Shi Solanki, a very adorable Aryan Shi. I would like to request you, we will we like to see you on the stage from grade 2A. I couldn't keep 
budget, not if I ran, but if I stop running, holding the string of my kite, it will blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Thank you. Super. It was just wow, Aranchi. So, for the next performance, we would like to see Gentle Garbit Tibra from Grade 2B. Can you hear for them? Come on, my energetic audience. Just as lavish, grateful in the morning. Come on. Waterfall, waterfall. Then we have to. But when it comes to my bedtime, 
So are you all ready? Yeah. Class 3 and 4, are you all ready? Yeah. Okay. A story is the telling and an event, either true or fictional, in such a way that the listener experiences or learns something just by the fact that he heard the story. A story is a means of transferring information, experience, attitude or point of view. Every story has a teller and a listener. So with this note, I would like to call our first story teller, Vivacious Vedika. Vedika Kanoria of grade 
3D. Can we hear it for her, everyone? You may start, Radhika. Good morning to principal, ma'am, teachers, and my dear friends. I am Radhika Kanodia from class 3D. Today I am going to narrate one story. The name of the story is Friendship is Forever, and the author of the story is Eric Hill. This is Stripey. He is a zebra. He has two friends. One is Jaggu the monkey and one is Hippopotamus the hippie. One day Stripey went down to play with his friends. They started playing but it started raining. They started playing. They decided to go under a shade and sit for some minutes. Jaggu told that I think so we have learned something in school that if the sunlight and the rain combines, so something happens. Stripey told, Oh you silly Jabu, a rainbow becomes. They told that they should wait for some minutes so they can see a huge beautiful rainbow. Suddenly, the rain stopped and a huge beautiful rainbow came. They started to hugging each other and we jumping. So the moral of the story is that if you be with the right friends, you learn day by day right things, you learn together and you grow together. Thank you. Wonderful Vedika. Your performance has demonstrated greater creativity and new flights of imaginative thinking. Thank you so much. Can we hear it for her once again, everyone? So, our next contestant is Noticeable Naisha Birmani from Grade 3C. Who is this? Kids, you can hear the story. You can notice there even props what they all have brought here on the stage for you all to entertain you. Please don't neglect anything. Be a good listener everyone. Kids at the back, I want everyone's attention here on the stage. Start. Good morning everyone. My name is Naisha Vermani from 3rd C. Today I am going to tell a story on kindness. Krishna and the fruits. One day, one day when Krishna was playing with his friends, we heard a voice from the streets. Fruits, fruits, who wants fruits? Krishna immediately rushed to the fruit cellar and said, Fruits, I want fruits. Can you please give me some? The fruit cellar said, Yes. But what will you give me for it? the fruits? Krishna immediately rushed to the greens room and got a handful of greens. But on the way all the greens had fallen, Krishna was sad. The fruit seller looked at Krishna's sad face and told, It's okay, I can give you the fruits without any cost, said the fruit seller. Krishna was very happy. Let the fruit seller give Krishna all his favorite fruits. Krishna went home and ate all the fruits he had got. After going home, the fruit seller noticed that the leftover fruits were turned into jewels. <laughs> Thank you. Naisha, it was brilliant. Your voice and characters were really lively and we all are impressed with your ability to deliver it so nicely. Super, super. Now next in the queue, we have Smart Sanvi. Sanvi Kocher from class 3A. Can we have you on the stage Sanvi? Everyone please clap for her. Where are Sanvi's classmates? Can you all wave your hands to her? Uh, right, and 
The old man asked his name, wrote out the check, and pushed it into his hands, saying, Take this money. You can meet me here exactly from a year from this date. Then he turned and disappeared as quickly as he had come. The businessman saw the check filled with $500,000, which was half a million dollars. He thought he can erase all his worries with that money instantly, but instead he thought he thought to keep the check in his safe, knowing that it will give him the strength to work out a way to save his business. The businessman the businessman Okay, Bahi, would you like to continue? Continue. That's it. Okay, everyone, please clap for her. Now I would like to call Amiable Arvi. Arvi Bhaskar from 4. D. Please come up on the stage. Good morning everyone. My name is Arvi Adish Pascal from class 4D. Today I'm going to tell you a story named Believe in Yourself. Once there lived a little girl Aditi. Aditi was very much interested in animals. One fine day, her friends told about the new elephant camp in the neighborhood village. She was so excited. Daddy, Daddy, there is a new elephant camp in the neighborhood village. Please take me there, Daddy, she asked. The next day, Aditi and her family started for a trip to the elephant camp. The girl was excitedly looking at the elephants in the camp. She noticed one strange thing. She questioned the trainer, why is this gigantic animal tied with a small rope to a stick can easily break the rope and the stick? We have tied with a small rope when they were young. As they grew up, they believed that they can't escape the small rope, said the trainer. A huge creature is conditioned to believe that it can't escape a small rope? Isn't that really shocking? We learn from the story that never have a thought that you can't succeed. Let's break the belief which is holding us from achieving. Believing you can become successful is the most important step in actually achieving what you want to achieve. <laughs> Believe in yourself and gain self-confidence. Thank you. Awesome. Wonderful performance, Adi. Love your story. Did you all love it? Yeah! I must say she was having very much confidence in herself while speaking up. Okay, next performance is Tia Anand, our very tender Tia Anand from grade 4 E. Good morning everyone. Don't we love spending time with our friends? Let me tell you a story about two best friends, Love and Kush. Love and Kush had been friends for almost 8 long years. They decided to go on a beach vacation. But on the way, they had a heated argument and love slapped Kush in the face. 
Bush was hurt, but he did not say anything to love. After they reached the beach, beach, Kush sadly wrote on the sand, Today, my best friend slapped me. After a while, they went into the sea to swim. Suddenly, love heard Kush scream, Help! Help! And realized that Kush was drowning. He rushed towards Kush and pulled him to the shore. After a while, Kush picked up a stone and wrote on it, Today, my best friend saved my life. Love was confused and asked Kush, When I slapped you, you wrote in the sand and now on a stone. Why? Kush replied, When a person hurts us, we should write it down in the sand where waves of forgiveness can erase it. But when a person does something good for us, we must engrave it on a stone where no wind or wave can ever erase it. Love felt happy and said, The greatest gift of life is friendship and now I have received it. They remain best of friends for the rest of their lives. So friends, today, this story teaches us that we should always value the people who are close to us Thank you. Super, super. Wow. So, all the talented students over here, with their skills, they fill our heart with emotions and happiness. Don't you think so, children? Yeah. Yes. What a cheerful and wonderful performance given by all the students from grade 1 to grade 4. Don't you think, ma'am, our uh, GDGIS is overloaded with the performance and talents? Yes! yes. Isn't on, it? Come, round yes. of applause for all of them. Come everyone, on. please clap for everyone. For all the performance. By the time judges are preparing the results, can we come up with few readers? Don't you think, ma'am? Yes. Okay, so let's see who can give answer for the first one. Be attentive. Okay. What kind of room has no doors or windows? Raise your arm if you know the answer. Raise your arm. And nobody will say ma'am, ma'am. Please. Yeah, so mushroom is the correct answer. Very nice. Good job. Okay. Next, let's see who is a great mathematician over here who can think wider. How many months of the year have 28 days? Wow, super. So yes, all is the correct answer. Superb, superb. Clap for yourself, everyone. Come on, superb. Okay, next one. There is only one word in the dictionary that that's spelled wrong. I think they are all pro readers. Very nice. Superb. Yes, yes the correct answer nice. is wrong. Okay, one more for you all. I have a tail and a head, but no body. What am I? Okay, yes, that's correct. A coin. So this goes for the next one, goes for the parents. I hope. Let's see who can answer. Why th did the citrus tree go to the hospital? From parents I want, only parents. Let them try, come on. Why did the citrus tree go to the hospital? I want parents, come on parents. 
Please come up on the stage and announce the result for the day. And our respected coordinator, Shilpa Ma'am. Respected Sakshi Ma'am. Are you on stage with them? Competition. First winner is Ayanshi Solanki. Wow! Ayanshi, uh, parents of Ayanshi, we would like to see you on the stage. Parents of Ayanshi Solanki, we would like to see you on stage. Come on, show that energy, children. Come on. And second winner goes to Vihan Vidya. We would like to see parents of Vihan Vihan Vidya on the stage. And third is Garvit Tribha. We would like to see Garvit's parent on the stage. Come on! Come on, children! It must be a very proud woman for the parents over here. Congratulations to all the winners over here. Oh, 
Now I would like to call the judges of poetry competition, story competition. Sorry, can we have have you on the stage, ma'am? Storytelling competition goes to Vedika Kanodia from Class 3D. Vedika from Class 3D. I would like to request her parent to please come up on the stage. Everyone, please clap for them. Keep clapping, kids. So now the third winner is Naisha Virmani. Naisha Virmani. I would like the parents to please come up on the stage. Congratulations to all the winners over here. so much everyone thank you so much parents for your precious time now i would like to call our assistant coordinator ms sakshi took for vote of thanks a warm morning to everyone present over here we have come to the conclusion of the competition. I, Sakshi Chuk, take the opportunity to put my gratitude into words. First and foremost, I want to express my gratitude to the Almighty God for making today's program a huge success. My sincere thanks goes out to our prin Director Principal Ma'am, Mrs. Jayashree Chauraria, and the top management for their help and direction in organizing the competition. We have fortunate enough to get the support of the teachers and the staff of the school to make this competition successful. We sincerely appreciate the unwavering support and encouragement for all parents and well-wishers. Children would not be able to excel without your support. We appreciate your coming. We appreciate you coming to this event. Your presence has certainly boosted the confidence and enthusiasm of all the children and provided a boost to their performance. Sincere appreciation to the PVA team and not teaching staff for the assistant. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Although the competition is over, the vote of thanks is done. Still, I would like to thank personally to all the judges who have come. They are our parents. And thank you so much for coming, for gracing the occasion, and to all other participant parents who have been here for supporting the students, for encouraging them for the work that they are 
delivering here. It's all the hard work of you people that is reflecting on the stages. It's none other than you who is working behind backstage, if I would say, if the working behind the uh, students, it's all you. It's just your support that is always there constantly with us that we are able to present such good work on stage. Thank you so much for coming.